This contest is set for one fall. Being accompanied to the ring by Paul Hamas from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, C. N. Punk. King, CM Punk is a lot of hot air, but one thing he's factual about, he's held the WWE Championship 350 days. Well, that's true, but will it continue come Sunday at Survivor Series? Welcome back to my walkthrough for 2K's Showcase. This is part 12 and this video is going to include two matches. The first one is once again yet another John Cena vs CM Punk match and then the second match will be the triple threat match that um, CM Punk had against Ryback, Ryback and John Cena at Survivor Series in 2012. So in this first match as you can see we're playing as John Cena and we have three objectives. The first objective is to damage punk, punk moderately so we need to make sure that at least one of Punk's body parts has, uh, has uh, an orange color. That means that we've delivered moderate damage to him and I recommend that you guys focus on his head since uh, Cena hits pretty hard it shouldn't take all that long at all. After we uh, deliver moderate damage we need to perform the STF finisher and that will start a cutscene and then we need to perform an attitude adjustment and win by pinfall. But as you can see, all that we need to do is keep attacking Punk and we'll be able to deliver uh, moderate damage in no time. In fact, they've already built up quite a little bit of momentum. Man, I need to practice my uh, floor counters. Still haven't got them quite right. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, this is just ridiculous at this point. Finally, about time. Um, let's keep beating him up uh, and hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, we can already... We already have enough to perform a signature move, so pretty soon we have enough to perform the first finisher, the STF. If he stops countering, that's the annoying part about playing on Legend difficulty is that the AI counters pretty much everything. And of course, Heyman is no stranger to representing WWE Champions. You know, that's right, King. In fact, Heyman became the first man to manage three WWE Champions in a row when he got All time. Lesnar, Big Show, and Kurt Angle to the gold in 2002. And of course, Heyman uh, saw so many let's of his former ECW up. wrestlers go on to later become Another WWE Champions. Another counter by Punk. Starting to get a little bit annoying. 
And following Van Damme's championship victory over John Cena in 2006, Heyman presented him with the ECW championship as well, making RBD the first person ever to sign. And I already have a finisher move, so now in order to perform the STF, all that we need to do is uh, throw CM Punk on the ground, approach his legs, make sure obviously that we have enough uh, stamina, and we press triangle. Uh, in order to perform the STF finisher, but first let's make sure that he's in the correct position on the floor. That will start the cutscene. There we go, you stay down. Approach his legs, make sure he's in the position, this position, so that you can perform the STF, and there we go. And look at Cena. Cena's got Punk in the STF and the champ's in trouble. Oh, in trouble big time. This, this may be it. He may have to tap here, but Wade, he's struggling. Trying to get to the ropes. And Punk crawling the ropes oh. and makes it. And it's going to force the break. CM Punk made it to the ropes. We thought Cena had him beaten. CM Punk on the outside. He's hurt. He may have had a, enough of John Cena. Puck crawling away from the ring and, and see, look at this. I think I think CM Punk wants to leave. Yeah, I don't think Punk wants anything to do with Cena, but but look at this. Uh-oh. He's got nowhere to go. The roadblock that's Ryback. And now Punk trying to climb that wall, but Cena's got him and back into the ring. Okay guys, so now all that we need to do well, is perform an attitude adjustment and win by pinfall. So once again we're just going to keep building our momentum up um, and at this point Punk hits damage to the point that one attitude adjustment will do him in and that will conclude the match and then we can move on to the triple threat match. No you're not gonna win like that, come on. There we go, got another signature move prepared. Uh, let's Oh, I actually thought he was going for the goal. To yeah, that's a shame. But I should be able to counter it without having too many problems. There we go. And I can't believe I wasn't able to counter that. No, I'm not done. I mean, look at my health, I have plenty of health uh, left to kick out of this, there we go. Now it's my turn to finish him off, hopefully. I don't know why the R2 button said that I countered that, yet it didn't activate, but oh well. No point in worrying about it because I have this match pretty much won at this point. So first the 5 knuckle shuffle, deal an extra, a little bit of extra damage and now we're going for the attitude adjustment and then we just have to pin him and that will conclude this match. Let's go, hopefully he doesn't counter. There we go. Let's just go for the pin and we will win this match. And that will start another little cutscene, there we go. John Cena's pinned the champion! Oh my god! Cena's pinned the champion! And if that happens Sunday, we're gonna crown a new champ! John Cena has done what CM Punk tried to tell the world was impossible! Yeah, but let's not forget that man. Yeah, Ryback is thinking if anyone's gonna be, beat CM Punk, it's gonna be him, but no, look at this! Triple threat rules come Sunday. Punk's title reigns in deep trouble.
being accompanied to the ring by Paul Heyman. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C.M. Punk. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight marks day number 364 that CM Punk has been WWE Champion. He's currently tied with Hulk Hogan for the eighth longest reign in WWE history. And how can you possibly underestimate a record like that? CM Punk is just one day away from making it one full year. estimation Ryback should be WWE Champion here tonight. This year at pay-per-view, CM Punk is 3-0 in triple threat matches for the WWE title. Yeah, ever since winning the title, CM Punk has not lost a triple threat match, despite the champion being at a disadvantage in this type of contest. That's right, King. The first man to gain pinfall or submission will be the winner, meaning CM Punk doesn't even have to be involved in the decision to lose the title. Okay guys, time to start the next match and this is CM Punk vs John Cena and Ryback at Survivor Series, we are playing as CM Punk and our first objective in this match is to deliver moderate damage to John Cena uh, and after that we should perform a ground grapple on a floor John Cena and that will start a cutscene It's not uh, a bad idea to let both Ryback and John Cena fight it out. Uh, although this is a no disqualification match, so you can use uh, weapons and objects to um, speed up the damaging process of both Cena and Ryback. You don't really need to worry about Ryback in this first section of this match. Like I said, uh, we just need to focus on John Cena, and since Ryback is such a heavy hitter, uh, he actually probably deals more damage per strike than CM Punk would. If we complete all the objectives in this match we will unlock uh, 4 collectibles. Uh, Ryback attire for Survivor Series 2012, CM Punk's attire and John Cena's attire for this event. And we will also unlock the Survivor Series Arena, the 2012 uh, Survivor Series Arena. Like I said, we can use objects to speed up the process uh, of this match and Cena just landed on top of Punk, that couldn't have been nice. Um, come on, Cena, follow me, let's... Oh goodness, Ryback decided to follow me instead. 
to see a Cena Punk union. Let go of me. If there's one thing that I wish they would have added to make this much more realistic would be the Goldberg chance that Ryback, Ryback was getting um, for for this match. Because uh, as you know, once Ryback started his streak there, streak, there were a lot of comparisons made with Goldberg. So it would have been nice if they included the Goldberg chance. Uh, but oh well. Let's keep attacking Cena. His head is already yellow, so we only need to deliver a little bit more damage. Ryback, I guess, is going to get some object. Going to get the steps, okay. Look at CM Punk here. CM Punk has capitalized on opportunities and taken back momentum. Just a little bit more damage, and that will probably be enough. Uh, after, okay, we can now proceed to grapple John Cena and that will start the cutscene as long as it doesn't counter like he did right now. Let's try and floor him. Damn it. There we go. Go down on the floor and let's try and grapple him and that should start the cutscene. Oh, look at Puck! Puck's trying to get Cena to tap out here! He may have to! And if Cena taps out, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 the wait. big guy Ryback. Oh my gosh, he, he picks CM Punk up like a feather. Ryback oh. slamming Punk. And now Cena from behind. Wow. Planning Ryback and Cena's, oh my God. Look at Ryback, he's right back up already. Cena can't believe it, neither can I. That had absolutely no effect on Ryback and now it's a slugfest. And the problem here is Punk's out of the equation, King. He could lose the championship, not even, not even be involved in the decision. Oh. Cena with some momentum. Uh -oh. oh. Speaking of Punk. Watch out those steps. Oh. Okay, so we're going to start the match once again. Um, and now all that we need to do is eat Ryback with the corner, corner signature move. Unfortunately, I will need to build up my momentum once again. Uh, so might as well bring in a weapon and speed this process up a little bit. Come on, Ryback, get inside. Oops. That's my fault. But of course he's going to start countering everything. Let's hit him with the... Go to sleep, damage him a little bit. Uh, like I said, we need to perform a corner signature, so we need to throw him into one of the corners. Let's just keep striking him with the share, build up momentum. Uh, and, and then we'll be able to... To end the match pretty much, because after that there's going to be another uh, cutscene. And after that cutscene, all that we need to do is pin John Cena and win the pinfall. And that will conclude this match. I still feel Ryback was completely thrown randomly into the match. Uh, even though to be fair, I think a lot of people were tired of seeing CM Punk and John Cena matches here. I don't want to eat Cena. <laughs> and if the steps weren't there, I would have been able to throw Ryback into the corner, but oh well. I guess they both want to perform comeback moves on me, but that ain't happening, not today. Punk sidesteps that one. Yeah, just when you think you have Punk right where you want him. Are you kidding me? Look. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? Oh wow! Right on the steps. That was a nice move. I think if I were the Rock watching right now. I might get a little bit worried. Well, the Rock, however, has said that it doesn't matter who he faces at the Royal Rumble, but to the point King, he might change his mind after watching this. Can you imagine if we could wrestle Okay, I really don't feel like getting hit with an attitude adjustment Cena right now. Oh, I guess Ryback. Oh, come on. How could I counter that if I was facing Ryback? That's annoying. Oh well, we can still get back up. 
Mm, let's see if I can throw right back in the corner now. Get over here, big guy. Nope. No, sir. Not today. Unfortunately, I already built up momentum for another finisher, so once again I'm going to have to build my momentum up so that I can perform another signature move. Which is kind of annoying, but unfortunately that's how these triple threat matches go. Let's let Ryback hit, uh, hit Cena with his meat hook. There we go. Uh, that way he'll floor Cena for a little bit. What are you doing? Oh boy. Give me back my chair. Yeah, I really don't feel like getting hit with the shell, shell shock. Or shell shock. Why don't you eat Cena instead, Ryback? Come on. Do something useful for a change. There we go. So I got enough to use a signature move once again, and you're going to the corner this time, buddy. Let's finish this. Come on. Oh, I don't have enough momentum, damn it. That's annoying. That's the problem with running out of stamina in these matches. It can be frustrating very, very fast. Now I should have enough. Let's see. Not enough yet, of course, because I ran out again. Oh, brother. Is he going for the trifecta? Probably. Nope, we are not, because I'm not going to let you. Let him for Cena. Let's try this now. Come on guys, take each other out. I actually kind of kind of want Ryback to eat his finisher on Cena so that I don't won't have any problem spinning him after this. Get over here, big guy. This is it. There we go. Went for the AA, and now Ryback's got Cena up! Looking for shell shock here! Ryback marching around the ring, shell shock oh. for Cena! We had a new champion! We had a new champion! Hey, wait, 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 What is this? What is going on here? Assaulting Ryback! Who are these guys? King, wait, wait a minute! That, that looks like Roman Reigns from NXT! And is that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins? I think so, yeah, it is! What are they doing? Assaulted Ryback! Reigns and Ambrose and Rollins! Look out, King! Get out of the way, King! Oh my gosh! Oh! That's the only good thing about this match, is the debut of the Shield. But now all that we need to do is pin John Cena. He's done for, and that will win the match. That will make us win the match. So that concludes this. Uh, segment my friends as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you all for the next part what i can tell you ladies and gentlemen is that these three men dressed in black with security equipment on rushed the ring and assaulted john cena and ryback they came out here and stood next to us at our announce table and it was plain as day that these men are from our developmental group nxt you're right these three men roman reigns Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins may have impacted the long-term history of WWE here tonight.